वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलकम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय असमा हफीज फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस Prime Minister has directed to take steps to achieve export target of 60 billion dollars in next 3 years. Pakistan and Turkmenistan have agreed to further strengthen their bilateral cooperation. National Disaster Management Authority has issued rain alert in Punjab, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Otwar, Gilgit Baltistan and Kashmir during the next 3 days. In Women Asia Cup 2024 at Dambula Sri Lanka Pakistan will face United Arab Emirates today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has directed the Ministry of Commerce and other relevant departments to take practical steps to achieve the export target of 60 billion dollars in the next 3 years. chairing a meeting of national export development board in islamabad today he said the ministry of commerce should finalize the policy proposals in this regard in collaboration with the sectors having export potential he emphasized the need for research and development innovation and brand development to make pakistani products unique and enhance their exports Shahbaz Sharif directed the Ministry of Power to present a comprehensive plan to reduce the power tariff for industries. The Prime Minister also directed the trade officers in Pakistani embassies across the world to play their role in the promotion of Pakistani exports. The Prime Minister said IT exports exceeded 3.2 billion dollars due to government's policies, terming it a welcome development. Shahbaz Sharif said the problems identified by the exporters should be solved and a report be submitted to him in the next 2 weeks. Pakistan and Turkmenistan have agreed to further strengthen their bilateral cooperation. This came at a meeting between Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Isaq Dar and Foreign Minister of Turkmenistan Rashid Meridov in Islamabad today. The two sides also agreed to enhance high-level dialogue and exchanges at the leadership level. Chief of Staff of the Brazilian Navy, Admiral Andrew Luiz Silva Limba de Santana Mendes, called on Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee, General Sahit Samchad Mirza in Rawalpindi. Matters of bilateral interest, including maritime security, emerging security environment, and enhancement of security and defence cooperation between the two countries, were discussed during the meeting. The visiting dignitary commended the professionalism of Pakistan armed forces and acknowledged the sacrifices of Pakistan and Pakistan armed forces in the war against terrorism. Minister for Power Awais Ahmed Khan Lagari says government is taking all possible measures to bring reforms in power sector to reduce tariff rate. Talking to a private channel, he said reforms in power sector are imperative to bring electricity tariff rate at affordable price. He said we are reviewing the agreements made by the previous governments with independent power producers. Avas Lagari said it is the topmost priority of the government to lower burden from consumers of electricity and for this all necessary steps are being taken to achieve the objective. Special Investment Federation Council is making special interventions to uplift the agriculture sector. The announcement by Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif to solarize 27,000 agriculture tube wells at a cost of more than 197 million dollars in Balochistan with the support of SIFC is a revolutionary project. The main objective of tube well solarization project is to promote sustainable energy supply and reduce dependence on electricity and petroleum products in the agricultural sector. At least 16 Palestinians were martyred in Israeli attacks in northern Gaza this morning. Over 39,000 people have so far been martyred and 89,818 injured in Israel's war on Gaza. National Disaster Management Authority has issued a rain alert in Punjab, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Potwar, Gilgit Baltistan and Kashmir during the next 3 days. Flash flooding and landsliding may occur in hilly and mountainous regions in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit Baltistan and Azad Kashmir. 
Heavy falls may cause urban flooding in Peshawar, Lahore, Islamabad, Rawalpindi, Faisalabad, Sialkot, Narwal, Gujranwala and adjoining areas. Besides, heavy falls may increase flows in local nalas, streams of Balochistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Punjab and Azad Kashmir. In Women Asia Cup 2024, Pakistan will face United Arab Emirates at Dambula, Sri Lanka today. The match will start at 1.30 p.m. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official.